الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد ولا علیہ و صحبہ وسلم اما بعد احب تف اللہ In our tafsir, our study of tafsir Sultan al-Fatiha, we'll rely predominantly on Sheikh Muhammad bin Saleh bin Uthaymeen, Al Uthaymeen, uh, Rahmatullah Ali, Rahmatullah Wasiya. His tafsir, as it is very, uh, very beneficial and fawaid and very easy to understand and easy for translation. And we'll also bring out other fawaid from other ulama as we go along in our study. Be idnillah, and may Allah bless us with tawfiq and bless it to be beneficial. The Shaykh began Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Surah Al-Fatiha. So may to be dalek, lano iftata biha al-Quran al-Karim, wa karqil inna ha awal surah nazalat kamila. So he began by saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of Allah. The most beneficent, the most merciful. Surah Al Fatiha. Uh, the reason it's called Surah Al Fatiha uh, is because that it is the opening for the Quran Al Karim. And also, it is said, meaning from the Mufassirin, those people from Ahl Al Ahl Tafsir, that the explainers of the Quran, that also. Some say, some of the ulama say that it is because it was the first surah uh, which was revealed kamil, which was com revealed uh, as a complete surah. And he said, هذه surah قال العلماء أنها تشتمل على مجمل معاني القرآن في توحيد والأحكام والجزاء والطرق بني آدم وغير ذلك ولذلك سميت أم القرآن والمرجع لشيء يسمى أمة أمة. So the Sheikh he said that this surah, the the ulama say that this surah that it contains in general a, a general meaning in the Quran. With regards to uh, Tawheed, you know, monotheism, uh, and Ahkam, as far as um, rulings or also rewards are contained in the Surah, you know, the Jaza, the reward for the one who worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, the way of Bani Adam, the way of the children of Adam. And other than this, and this is why it's called the Umm al-Qur'an, the mother of the Qur'an. And this surah also has many, many benefits which distinguishes it from other surahs. And one of those benefits is that it is uh, a ruqan, في صلوات التي هي أفضل أركان الإسلام بعد الشهادتين. So that another thing which distinguishes the Surah Al-Fatiha is that it is a pillar of the prayer, meaning that without this pillar, your prayer would not be accepted. This is a pillar of the prayer, and of course the salat. Is the best uh, arkan or rukun or pillar of Islam after taking the shahada, after the shahadatain. Shahadatain, of course, is, uh, contains tawheed and it contains uh, ittiba Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, bearing witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, that's tawheed. And that Muhammad is his last prophet and messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That is ittiba, and those are pillars that that contains both ikhlas and mutaba, 
following the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, and that's what we need to get our deeds accepted. We need what? Sincerity, and we need to follow the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We'll keep this very brief, and we'll until the next time. Wa